Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Push Bullet. Right before I get to that, I want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com, which is the best place on the internet to get really cool NFC tags and NFC keychains, all Android themed for use with your Android NFC phone. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review. So, Push Bullet. Definitely one of the uh, coolest apps that uh, I've added to my phone in a long time. Works excellent and no other app does exactly what it does. It allows you to push almost anything, a file, a picture, a list, a note, uh, a link from your phone to your tablet or your Chrome browser or push from your Chrome browser to your tablet or your phone or push from your tablet to your phone or your Chrome browser. So basically it is a way to sort of connect all of your devices. So if you're on your computer and you want to remind yourself when you get in the car to do something, you could push a message to your phone. So when you pick up your phone, there's a, that message is there. Or if there's a, a file on your computer you need to get on your phone or on your tablet, you can push it. It's a lot easier than a lot of the uh, 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 other sort of services like uh, OneBox or, or uh, Box.com where you have to upload something then go on to your other device, go to that app or that website and then download it. With this, it's just like straight there. It sort of cuts out the, the middleman. And like I said, you can do files, you can do notes, or, uh, links, um, pictures, just about anything. Um, anything you can share. Uh, on your phone or your tablet, you can share through, push this, and push it to one, one or both of your other uh, uh, devices. So anyway, let's hop on my phone so I can show you how it works. I'm going to show you how it works between all three devices so you can really get a feel for it and uh, know why it is that I think it's one of the uh, best apps for sure uh, that I've added to my phone in a long time. Okay, so uh, we're going to start on my tablet for this review. And uh, first I'm just going to open up Push Bullet just so you can, oh, there it is right there, Push Bullet. So let's open it up and you can just kind of see the interface um, basically, basically the same uh, whether you're on a tablet or, or a phone. Uh, if you click over here, you'll see you can view just pushes to this device or all pushes. So that will show anything I've pushed to and from any device. And uh, of course, what makes Push Bullet so cool is the fact that you can push things from any device to any device. So that's from tablet, phone, or Chrome browser. You can do any one of them. So if you open Push Bullet and you click the Add Bullet button, then you can choose a note, a link, a list, a picture, or a file, and send. So let's uh, start by doing a list. And you can see right here, it's where do you want to send it to? You can send it to Chrome. I can send it to my Note, which of course I'm on, which that would be stupid, or I can send it to my phone. So let's send it to Chrome. And it's going to be uh, uh, things to do. And we're going to say blah. And then blah one, and then blah two. And uh, of course you could add more if you want to. And then we're gonna click the send button and send that on to Chrome. Now like I said, you could also do a note, you could do a link, you could do a picture or a file. Um, but you don't have to do it from within Push Bullet because Push Bullet integrates into the just the share feature of Android. So I'll show you that. Let's go over to um, open up my Twitter feed. Oh, come on. Open up. And uh, so here you see there's uh, uh, an article from an article, a tweet from uh, uh, Android Central. So let's open that up in readability. And so here we are. It's going to load. 
it's going to take forever to load. Uh, but while that's loading, you see, it's uh, Google is having issues with their servers today, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, both my phone and my tablet are showing it. That's what the little triangle explanation point is. But you see the share button down here. So if I click the share button, one of the options to share is push this. So I can click push this. And now I can push that over to my phone. And so I click the send button and it's sent. And the noise you just heard in the background, that was my phone getting it. And uh, you can also do pictures, like if we go to gallery and uh, I choose one of my pictures here. Um, let's see. Let's pick a random, random picture. Let's go to city view. So uh, click the share button here. One of the options in share is going to be push this. And I'm going to click the share button. And it's going to push it on over to my phone. So let's uh, bring my phone into this. Move that out of the way. And uh, I got the notification, you heard the notification, you see right here, you see the little push bullet symbol and then tweet from Tweetcaster. So if I push that, it's going to take me straight to the link. Except apparently it's a bad link. That's what you get when you go through Tweetcaster. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's, um, let's do a file. Uh, let's go to, I'm going to go to Root Explorer, and go to, uh, let's get an SD card, there should be something on here that has download, um, here we go, hand signals, I don't know what that is, but uh, we're going to check that. Go menu send and I'm just going to go down to push this and I'm going to push that to Chrome again. So push that document to Chrome. So anywhere you're anywhere you are on your phone by using the share button, you can share stuff between your phone, between your tablet, um, and your Chrome browser. Uh, anything, any f file or picture or whatever. So uh, let's hop on my computer now, so I can show you how it looks on there. I'm on my laptop computer, and you can see these are automatically popped up. The things to do list that I sent from my tablet, the photograph that I sent from my tablet, and the uh, uh, PDF that I sent from my phone. So you just click on it, it's there. And uh, uh, when you're done with it, you can exit out. And then uh, I go to the picture. There's the picture right there. If I go to the PDF, open up the PDF, dog obedience hand signals, that's what that was, and just exit it out. And then you can push from here as well. Um, if you're on any website, like let's go to anytags.com, you can click the little push button that will be on your. Uh, Chrome browser and when you push that button uh, you can choose to push you see it has the name of the website and the link and you can just tell it where you want it to go 
So I'm going to say, let's send it to my tablet, and then push it. Or, you can, if you want to push a file, if you click file, it'll tell you, go to pushbullet.com. So you go to pushbullet.com. Let's choose a file. Go you know, files up to 25 megabytes. I'm going to send this to my phone. And you said you can drag a file there, or you can click there to select a file. So let's click there to select a file. And, uh... And go to let's see and get the documents my documents and go to let's go a random one true silent description doc it's a word doc. And then click push it. And it's going to push that to my phone. And you might have heard the sound in the background. That was my phone receiving the file. So you can see you can receive files on your computer and you can send. So let's go back on my other two devices so we can check out how they came out. So here we are back on my tablet, and you see the little push bullet symbol there in the corner. Uh, and open it up, and you see this is the website that I pushed myself. So I click that, and it opens up the website right away. And then you can also go on my, jump on my phone, and on my phone here, so we focus in. Uh, you see a little push bullet symbol up there on the top. So you drag that down and you see true silent description doc. That's what I pushed from my uh, laptop. So if I click on that, it asks me how I want to open it. I'm going to use Quick Office and open it in Quick Office. And you'll see this is the, uh, the document that I sent to myself. So push bullet it's it's definitely it's it's very simple. Um, there's not a lot to say about it except just doing what I did, which is show you. It just allows you to push um, anything, just about from your phone to your computer, from your computer to your tablet, from your tablet to your phone and your computer. It's just a great way to get things from one device to another. Um, it's a lot quicker than, say, using a, a Dropbox where you upload it to Dropbox, then you go on your phone and download it back to your phone. With this, there's no, it cuts out that middleman. It just goes straight to your phone or straight to your computer or straight to your tablet. So, really cool. Um, definitely one of the uh, uh, most useful apps that uh, I have found uh, recently. So, I highly recommend uh, you uh, checking out, add the extension to your Chrome browser, and then install the app on your Android phone and or tablet. And, uh, pretty much promise you that you'll you'll find it very very useful that was push bullet and uh, after seeing that demonstration if you don't agree that it's one of the coolest apps then uh, I don't know maybe you shouldn't watch my channel anymore because I just can't take it it really is one of the best apps uh, uh, so simple and works very very well um, between all three devices. So I highly recommend you go to the App Store and download it right now. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click the like button. Uh, you can also share it on Google+, Facebook, Reddit, um, all those ways that are down there. Uh, share it with everyone you know, but especially people who you know would uh, benefit from having the app on their phones or their browser or their tablets. And uh, subscribe to my channel and check out all my other Android app reviews or my Tasker tutorials, NFC tutorials, other things I have on there. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.